Good morning, everybody. It is probably the is it the fifth maybe episode with this borer, and hopefully the last. Today we've only got a couple more things to sort out, and we're going to be putting the car up for sale. So last episode we put all the, we put the final power steering line back on. Everything's back together. The whole engine's built back up. Whole gearbox is in. It's it's driving. It's all good. What we're going to do today is there's a couple more things we've got to fix. We've got to fix a airbag light and a brake um, a brake pad sensor, and that's it. Um, and then we're going to put the car for sale. So I'm going to be showing you what I do in terms of taking pictures and posting the car for sale, how to get a good sale, how to get a good advert. But first of all, we're going to clean the car. It doesn't look that dirty because it's silver, but it's been sat for about four or five months. I've never cleaned it. So this is well long overdue. Now I've got my full hydro products here to use. I've got loads. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be using all of them. So the car is going to be coming up lovely because we need to because we want a good advert. If you want to try out hydro for yourself and see why everybody is using it, if you buy a spray bottle with this and a pre-wash, which is what's in there, obviously I've run out, so <laughs> I'm scraping the bottle here because it shouldn't be a lot darker than that, but I've run out of scraping the bottle. If you buy a spray bottle and a pre-wash, you'll get a free bottle of quick detail as well, which again, <laughs> I've also run out of. Hydro, I actually need some more of them, guys, to be honest. If that alone isn't good enough, if you use the code LEE20, you'll actually to get 20% off the spray bottle and the pre-wash and still get a quick free detailer and you'll also get 20% off everything in your basket and you'll also also get th uh, free shipping of anything over 30 quid. Now, if you want to make use of that deal it's only active for 72 hours from the minute this video goes live so three days from the minute this video goes live that offer will be good for you. Let's clean the car. Right guys I'm not a detailing channel and I'm definitely not a detailer so I'm going to clean the car and I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. But the worst thing on here are the wheels. So we're going to spray all of this, what they call uh, fallout, which is just going to remove all the brake dust, uh, which has definitely worked up on this car. That should turn everything. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> And here she is guys, I'm not going to dry it because um, there's no point just raining but you can't even tell me she don't look good Look at her! It looks so much better The wheels, are, the back wheels are quite really good, the front wheels are a lot better but I feel like there's just years of brake dust which is just, you know, put on there but oh my god, she looks so much better The amount of dirt and like mould that came out between the seals here and like between, like between the trim and stuff it was, um, oh my god, it was so satisfying. So there she is. Okay, people, so it's a couple of days later. We've got the bore behind us. Today, we're going to get the car for sale. So I'm just pumping up that other tyre. I think that tyre's got a slow punch on the other side. So we're going to have to sort that as well. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to drive it and we actually going to need to get some fuel first of all because it's like on red and I hope it gets there. We're going to drive it. We need to actually drive it to make sure the clutch is all working. And we actually need to bed the clutch in a little bit as well. Uh, and also since it's been sat here, the brakes have got a little bit of rust on them. So we can take it for a drive, clear the rust of the brakes, make sure the clutch is working, bed the clutch in a little bit. Then we're going to actually drive it to Kira and KWJ Performance. We're going to go there. We're going to first of all have a look at the rest. Uh, we're just going to look at all the brake pads and make sure that all the sensors are actually you know, tied together so we're not getting a brake code. We're also gonna look at that passenger airbag. I think it might just need resetting. A lot of people are saying the uh, the connectors under the seat cause it. If you pull, pull them out and plug them back in and clean them, it doesn't actually reset the light, but it won't bring the light up again. So we're gonna reset the airbag and hopefully it don't come back. And then we're gonna give the inside of a car a clean, and then we're gonna show you how to take pictures of a car to make it sell easily. There's an MLT station across the road from Kieran's, so we're gonna send it there and put a 12 month on. I've had a look all around the car. I don't think it really will actually fail on anything, and if it will, it's gonna be minor stuff. But I am tight for time today, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get the MLT done today, but we'll see how far we get. But in the next video, we'll sell the car and I'll explain everything, how much it's sold for and how much I spent, how much profit we've made. So for now, let's take it for a drive. So here we go, the first, the first drive of the Bora. Good thing is the clutch works, which is great news. It drives straight, which is great news. Drives nice, it's smooth. Obviously the brakes uh, feel and sound a bit weird because it's been sat for like four months. Um, but they, they work, which is also good news. <laughs> Let's get some fuel, I hope we can make it. I'm trying to drive as nice as possible because we're really, really, really low on fuel. The annoying thing is I want to put my foot down and come on boost and see what it feels like, see how fast it is and see if it's mapped or just, just basically see how it feels on boost but 
Obviously, I've only just put the clutch in, so it's not it's not really advised to do that. Obviously, I'll be okay with the revs. I just don't want to fucking like load it in third or fourth gear. Um, so, so I'm gonna try and put my foot down a little bit. I'm just trying to get as much mileage as I can before I do that, just to bed in the clutch as much as possible. Um, but it's very boosty. You can hear it going. Whoo, whoo. It's like very blow off valve. You won't be able to hear it here. It's too bloody busy, but it's very. It's very blow off our view on the cold on the uh, <laughs> on the on what we're we talking about on the quiet roads. Boost just a little bit here. You ready? Woo! <laughs> it's a bit laggy, not massively laggy, but it's laggy than I thought it would be. It's like um, it's it's way more laggier than the than the Mark Five GTIs. They're like they feel like a bloody diesel, mate. So we're down here at KWJ. This is one of their new units. They've got another one which is next door, which is even bigger from the mechanic side. This is like the dyno in the corner and the, the Valentin lads there as well. So we've brought the board down. We're going to clean it inside. We're waiting for the scanner to charge. So we're going to clean the board inside. It's absolutely horrendous in there. And also, also from where I've been working on the car, although I've cleaned it, you can see a lot of like oil marks from like my hand and things. So gonna get them all off so I thought first of all I thought it was like something the lacquer but it's literally just oily hands so you can see it literally here I'm not sure you can see it but yeah you can see it so let's give the car a full little uh, hoover inside because it's absolutely horrendous in here so George gave me this amazing tool <laughs> well he showed me how to use it first <laughs> and all these little things have come out just for a little and fuck off they're all gone right so we give her well I wouldn't say a proper clean but we've cleaned her this is how she's looking. I've done the glass, done the interior, just went around with the little thing. Um, did the lights again as well, just to clean up the front of the lights. But she looks good, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get the scanner. Um, and we're gonna scan that, the rest of the codes. Inside's all clean, nice. Well, yeah, it's clean. As clean as the 2001 Volkswagen Bora can be. Anyway, but I think she looks all right. The airbag side airbag igniter front passenger side resistance too high so i'm going to see where they are um on this it could be under the seat um side airbag igniter so it's something on the passenger side over there resistance too high uh but first of all what we're going to do is we're just going to find a way to see if we can actually just clear the airbag because sometimes they come up and then they go off again but they need to actually be properly cleared so we're just going to clear all the codes including the airbag and then see what comes back up if it does come back up then we're going to have a play around here and see what's going on so the good news is I just reset the airbag and it's not come back up. So the airbag light is not on anymore, which is awesome. Um, but the brake thing is still coming up. So we just need to have a look at the brake wear sensors. I'm so glad I have to mess around with that. I literally just reset the airbag and, and it's not come back up. And it's saying no faults on here now as well, which is awesome. So the airbag is fine. We just need to get this one light off. And then we get one in for sale. Okay, so I've got the front wheel off. I think it's come on... <sighs> What I'm going to do is I have put the wires together, but I'm going to trace it a bit further back, cut it up here, and then put them together there because maybe there's a break earlier than where I spliced them together. So let's cut it up here, then splice them there. Right, so um, I've just twisted them together, so that's going to close that circuit. So we're going to turn the key on. And if it still says brake pads, there's obviously another one somewhere in the car, maybe at the back. But I always thought there was just one, so let's just see if it's, it says one or two brake pads yeah so there must be another one somewhere so let's uh, take the back wheel off guessing it'll be on the on the same side let's get the back wheel off and double check okay i can't find any more wear sensors all over the car this is the only one and i can't see any problem with the wiring or anything else i've had a look and i can't find the issue and the brake lads pipe the, the brake light sensor is still coming on so what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called vcds also known as a vagcom and we are going to just remove the brake pad wear sensor because it, it's just going to keep flashing and at the end of the day like cars like this i actually think brake pad wear sensors are just annoying because they fail all the time a lot of these uh borers don't actually come with one some models do some models don't from what i believe so we're just going to turn the brake pad wear sensor light off so i've got um vcds open here so anyway, we're open up we're going to come into coding i've just watched someone do this online anyway so you can see the instrument cluster here basically there's a set of numbers here and the brake pad warning active plus zero one i don't know what i'm doing but i think that means you have to add a number here so we're going to go oh six four one two and then we're going to press, I have took a number, I have took a picture of the original number that was there just in case. 
but let's do that do it and the brake sensor has just gone off if you see look at the dash it's actually just gone off so the brake pad wear sensor has just been removed so we're going to turn the key off turn it back on again and hopefully it shouldn't come up so there we go we have absolutely no lights whatsoever anymore thank god yes i know some people aren't going to be happy about that and i should have fixed it and fixed it and fixed it and fixed it and you know spent three days chasing about the wiring it's not really how the world works <laughs> so i mean if i up in like a new car and everything worked and everything worked well i would do that but like i got this car and the wiring was ruined and most people don't even expect these type of cars to have brake pad wear sensors uh, and there's tons of meat left on the pads as well so it's not like i'm doing anyone over there's tons of meat left on the pads it's basically new tires new discs new pads all the way around there's tons of the brakes it's just it's just going to be annoying for the next person to constantly have that brake pad wa uh, warning thing pop up so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to splice them together like usual. We've removed the code. There we go. I'm going to teach you guys how to get a good picture of cars. Pretty much you want a DSLR camera. iPhones are great, but they just don't really give that depth of field. Like good pictures sell at a car massively. So I think I'm going to come outside and get them because I feel like the... Uh, I think the lighting in there wasn't that good. I think I can get some nicer shots outside. And obviously everyone doesn't have access to a unit. So like a shit location like this, I can show you you know, how good uh, a DSLR, what difference that it makes, you know? Now you don't want to hide anything. You don't want to hide the bad bits about the car. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in on the bad bits about the car. So the bad bits about the car, because we've got a little bit of paint peel here on the bonnet, uh, and we've got a little bit just starting to rust uh, bubble on this wing. So we're gonna say that in the advert because we don't want people to come and waste our time or waste their time. Put everything in the advert, and then if they want the car, they want the car, they wanna come and see it. You know, if you've been honest about the car, that if anyone was gonna come and see it, they already know about the bad bits and you don't need to waste your time or anyone else's time. So get literally get a picture from every single angle because people are gonna wanna zoom in on every side of the picture. Now this is very, very, very important. Get every angle of the car, get each wheel so they can check the wheel and the art and the bubbling on each arch. Now Facebook only let you lo load about, I think it's 12 pictures, so you've got to be a bit picky, but you kind of want, what would you look at? And you'd look at the bodywork, you look at the engine bay, and you'd look at the interior. So kind of focus on all those. And one thing I like to do is start the car and get a picture of the dash so they can see that there's no lights that it's idling that it's running everything and they can see the mileage in there and most importantly you get a picture of that 20 valve 1.8 turbo which is what everyone's going to want to see even if people don't know the car they're going to go what 20 valve borer and they're going to come and have a look and they want to see how the engine sits and there we go so we're going to edit these on lightroom just give them a little bit of colour so they stand out on the feed. We don't want to make anything look unrealistic. Just a little bit of colour, a little bit of saturation, a little bit of sharpness, a little bit of brightness, just so it stands out on Marketplace. And it looks, if you take care of the pictures, it looks like you took care of the car as well. And what people will want as well, they'll want a walk around. So they want to see the car on a video and they'll want to hear it as well. So I'm going to insert the walk around on the video here of what I'm going to keep. Uh, either put on the ad or just keep it there um, for people if they, um, if they, if they want to, it to be sent to them. Right, so here's the Bora. Obviously it's got the 1.8 20 valve, which is the GTI engine. Here's that idling. We've just put a brand new clutch in there. So it's got a brand new clutch. It's got a second-hand gearbox and a low uh, low mileage engine. There is a little bit of bubbling here on this wing. I tried to find another wing, but all the wings for sale are way worse than this one. Um, the paint is actually really good all the way around. It's really clean. There's a couple of bits, like there is a stone chip there. Um, and the worst bit of the paint is on the bumper, which I'll show you now. But as you can see the paint is it's, it's actually really good but the worst bits are here on the bonnet which are the worst bits I'll show you the interior so i'm just clean inside so it's all black interior and the seats are actually in good nick as well carpets are okay everything's clean it has had a new sill welded on here in the past uh, that was before i bought the car uh, but overall it's actually really 
clean car. The wheels could do with a bit of a refurb at the front. I've tried to clean as much as I can, but there's still quite a lot of brake dust around there. Uh, it's just had a brand new battery as well from Halfords, uh, so I can give you the receipt back. It's got a three year warranty on there. Uh, I'll give it a nice little bit of a rev. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this to the MOT place over the road. I'm going to leave it with them. They're going to put an MOT in. If it, if it needs anything, it might. It, if it does need anything, they'll let me know. I am going to get them to uh, have a look at the tyres as well because the front left and the rear right has got a bit of a slow puncture. The tyres themselves like are almost, well, they've like tons of tread on, so hopefully they can just repair them. Um, I'm going to put an MOT in it and then we'll kind of see if we get any advisories or if we get any fails or anything and I'll tell you what that is in the next episode and we're also going to add up everything that we've priced and we're going to put it for sale and hopefully we can do how much it's sold for uh, versus you know what we spent, hopefully that all happens in the next video. Hopefully it goes fast. If anybody does actually, if anybody does actually want to buy this car off me, give me a message on Instagram. Um, I'm probably going to put it up between 1500 and two grand. I'm going to do a little bit more research on what they're actually going for. They're really rare so it's really hard to price the cars. Um, but I think 1500 quid is cheap and two grand uh, is like quite a, like you know it's a it's good it's a good price so I think I think it's gonna go between 1500 and two grand so I'm gonna do a little bit more research maybe I'll put it for like 1750 so if anybody wants it give me a message I'll let you know if it's still good or not but for now I love you all we finally got to the end of the car I'm gonna get something I actually like more I've tried a few VWs now and they're just not for me um, so we're gonna try and get something maybe like a clear 182 something like that something that's you know, good to the channel. So I love you all. Hopefully this car sells fast. It's been a great drive today. I need to get an MLT in it. So we'll have 12 month MLT on it. Uh, we love you all. I'll see you in the next one.